Between camping and survival skills, scouting can be difficult. So that's why we sent Andrew to Paulo out this morning to see what skills our local scouts have. What are you up to this time, Andrew? <laughs> I'm doing it all this morning, Steve. And before you get to Boy Scouts, before you get that Eagle rank, you have to go through the Cub Scouts. And there's so much that you learn in Cub Scouts before you get, of course, uh, into the, the, the early Boy Scout ranks. And of course, I'm joined by some area Cub Scouts early on this morning. They're going to tell me themselves what they learn at each rank. I'm joined now by the first rank, the kindergartner, the Lion, uh, the Lion Scout. Tell me a little bit about what you learn as a Lion Scout. Um, we did this at so and the teacher would he, um, do this because I earned a... When we salute the flag. If you salute the flag, right? You learn that early on. How important is that for, for you guys to learn all that? Um, so God can help us in our country. Yeah. Yeah, well said. Thank you so much. Well said. Early on, they're learning uh, these these uh, quintessential, you know, building blocks. And next up from the lion is the tiger. What do you guys learn as a tiger cub, as a tiger scout? Um, I learned square knot. I learned the square knot. I learned how to use a compass and a map. Yeah, and that's that's so important with you know survival skills. Once you get into Boy Scouts, mm -hmm. oh, do you have a favorite knot? Did you learn? You sure you learn a bunch of knots. Um. I didn't learn a bunch, but I learned the square knot. The square first. knot? You learn, well, you will learn a bunch of knots. Let me tell you, you will learn a bunch of knots coming up. And uh, we have what? First aid now with the with the wolf scout. And what what do you learn all with the first aid when it comes to to this level in scouting? Um. Well, if you fall down and cut, you would put um. One of these. Yeah, you have band-aids in there, right? You have a little neosporin in there, and they teach you all about that just in case what you know in an emergency situation, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. And then next up, we got the bear. The bear is last. You got your backpack here. You probably go on some uh, some weekend-long uh, camping trips. What do you all learn at uh, one of the last levels before you get into Boy Scouts? Um, you learn how to use a map and get a whittling chip. Yeah. Yeah, and how important is that safety when you're using uh, using a knife or uh, when when you're out camping and using a map? How how important is that? Um, you need to know that because you have to find your way and not get lost. Yeah, yeah, excellent answer. Thank you guys so much for joining me this morning, and I'm joined now uh, by one of the parents of these scouts. And how important is the family program, kind of raising them through Cub Scouts and then into Boy Scouts? How important is that for for the whole family? Well, it's incredibly important, and actually um, what you see here is an evolution of how Cub Scouts and Boy Scouts has um, identified that as important. So we, this year, added our Lions program, which brought in our kindergartners, and we're also looking at um, inviting women and young girls into scouting, into Cub Scouts, in what's called our Family Scouting Program, okay. because what we've learned over years is that families want to participate in a leadership and outdoor-based yeah. program together, yeah. and so we're looking at ways that we can bring the family together in environments like Camp Standby yeah. and scouting programs. Well, thank you so much for joining me this morning. We're going to be talking about the Friends of Scouting Breakfast coming up around 6.50, so you want to stay tuned for that. But how about a round of applause for all these Cub Scouts that came out this morning? Fantastic job. We'll have that forecast coming up in just a little bit. We'll send it back to you in the studio.